Let's talk about how to set the float level in this carburetor. Before we do that, I've got the Bentley manual here for the early MGBs and I'm on page 134. And here, you can't see it because the type is small, but it says here the float level is set to 1 8 to 3 16 I'd like you to know about that so you can appreciate that this isn't brain surgery. You don't have to spend all afternoon trying to get it exactly right. There's no need to worry about that. Okay, close enough is good enough. Also, you've probably noticed in this illustration, hey, the cover for the flute bowl is upside down. What's with that? Well, if we take the cover that we've got here, when it's in the car, it sits like this. As the fuel level comes up, it pushes it and closes it. And when the fuel goes down, and that's how she operates, up and down like that. I can't adjust it when it's in the car. So when we take it outside the car to work on it, we turn it upside down, and gravity holds it just the way that the fuel would hold it. So here she is. She's all ready to roll. Now, remember that the gap, or the level, was supposed to be about one-eighth of an inch. So we take something which is known to be one eighth of an inch in diameter. A drill bit is usually an excellent choice. And you lay it flat on the cover and then you bring it underneath. And right at the point where the, the lowest part of the float level would be, or the float itself would be, which is actually gonna be the top of the float in real life, you want just to be able to squeeze this through between the two points. If you can do that, the float level is right and everything's fine. What happens if it's not? What happens if the bowl is too high or too low? Well, to do that, you don't have to take it apart, but I'm going to for the purpose of showing it to you. There's a metal arm on here. And if you put a slight bend in this arm up or down, you can adjust the way this float is going to sit in there. And that's how they adjust it. You simply make a minor adjustment until you get the float just the way you want it. Now, once in a while, you'll open up your carburetor and you'll find a float like this one. This one is 100% plastic. There's no metal arm. There's nothing to bend. How in the world are we going to change the float level or adjust the float level on something that doesn't have an adjustment? In those cases, remember that the base part of your needle and seat is threaded into the body of this cover? Well, what they'll do is when you buy the, the base here or the needle and seat complete, it will usually come with a fiber washer or two. And what you'll do is by adding or subtracting fiber washers, and if you need more or less, you can get them at the local hardware store, okay? And by doing that, you can raise or lower how far this sits. As you raise or lower how far this sits, you change the float level. And that is how we change or adjust the float level in the carburetor of our classic British car.